motions in this section. Is motion 25 formally seconded? Formally seconded. Those in favour? Against? Carried. Is motion 26 formally seconded? Seconded. Those in favour? Against? Carried. Uh, motion is motion 27 formally seconded? Formally seconded. Those in favour? Against? Carried. Is motion 28 formally seconded? Formally seconded. Those in favour? Against? Carried. Motion 29 formally seconded? Formally seconded. Those in favour? Against? Carried. I've had some uh, speakers who've indicated that they wish to take part uh, in the health debate. Now, there's no spare time in the debate, and I would draw a delegate's attention to recommendation three regarding motions in standing orders report number one. In view of the large volume of business to be transacted at the conference, and so as to facilitate the taking of the largest possible volume of business, we recommend that motions which can reasonably be regarded as being non-controversial be formally proposed, seconded and voted on without debate. I'd ask uh, delegates to bear that in mind and I would also ask you to adhere strictly uh, to the time limits. I want to get additional speakers in and I need your cooperation to achieve that. Uh, we move on to motion 11 uh, to be proposed on behalf of the Newbridge branch Kildare South. Uh, Adrian Kane, Newbridge Branch. Uh, comrade Chair, comrades, <coughs> the, um, I have a bit of a, a man flu, so the voice might give up halfway through, but bear with me. Uh, the average standing charge to see a GP is now somewhere between 50 and 60 euro. In January 2009, I undertook a study of GP charges uh, in my own county of Kildare, and I can't claim the, the methodology to be 100% sound, but what I found after contacting every GP who advertised in the golden pages throughout the county was that 65% of all of them were charging a minimum of 60 euro per visit. I noticed that in the aftermath of a hike of 20% by my own former GP, it became suddenly possible to make an appointment within a day or so, where previously it had uh, taken a week or more. You know, as well as I do, that people are putting off GP visits more and more because they cannot afford to go. As a union official with SIP2, I represent over 5,000 workers in County Kildare, 40% of whom earn less than €500 Euro per week. On a weekly basis, they are being forced to make the most awful of choices between trying to balance budgets and look after their family's health. Pharmacists, who have been denigrated by this government, have been filling the gap and have assumed to a large degree the type of function that had previously been carried out by the GP in dispensing practical medical advice. The changes brought about by last year's budget has led to dramatic increase in dentist fees, the medical card scheme increases in A&E charges amongst many more. Perhaps the most absurd of all these charges is the charge for parking your car at a hospital having to pay to visit a dying relative I believe is the tragic and Kafka-esque outcome of our dysfunctional healthcare system. I happened to be in Cuba a number of years ago, and whereas I don't always agree with everything that Fidel does, the emphasis on preventative care within the Cuban health system, where the GP is given responsibility over a certain number of patients, who also happens to live within the heart of the community, ensures a maturely poor country records extraordinary results across a whole range of health statistics with very meagre resources. Our system, on the other hand, lacks any sort of coherent philosophy. We all know that prevention is better than cure, but we have built a system that actively discourages the patient from attending at his or her GP. This absurdity must end. I welcome Fina Gale's belated adoption of Labour's universal health insurance policy. And I see Obama has even taken a leaf out of our, our, our book in recent times. But Labour will and must be the intellectual dynamo that drives the engine of the next government. We must ensure that we reconstruct our health system 
in the spirit and with the zeal of Dr. Noel Brown. A healthcare system for all our people, based on need, not privileged, centred on patient, patient care, not shareholder value, and where all our citizens are treated equally. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Adrian. Uh, motion 12 in the name of the